One day, a little girl was sitting and watching her mother do the dishes at the kitchen sink. She suddenly noticed that her mother had several strands of white hair sticking out in contrast on her brunette head. She looked at her mother and inquisitively asked, Why are some of your hairs white, mom? Her mother replied, Well, every time that you do something wrong and make me cry or unhappy, one of my hairs turns white. The little girl thought about this revelation for a while and then said, Mama, how come all of grandma's hairs are white? Welcome and welcome back respectively to my channel. If this is your first time, please support me by subscribing to my channel. You can also click on the notification bell below so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Today I want to speak from the topic Parenting, things you should never say to your children. First of all, children are a blessing from God. Children are a gift from God. Our children are God's gift to us. How we raise them are our gift to God. Welcome your children with love. Accept your children the way they are. Appreciate your children always. Do not curse your children or use bad language on them. Be careful about this. There is power in the tongue. There is power in the spoken word. When you are angry with your child, tone down your anger. Control yourself. Calm yourself down. Take it easy and do not unleash on your children by cursing them or using foul and bad language on them. Be a good role model for your children. Set a good example for them to follow. Let them imitate your noble character and good behavior. It is not enough to teach your kids to love. Let them see you love. It is not enough to teach your children to be kind. Let them see you show kindness to others. It is not enough to teach your children to forgive or to be generous. Let them watch you yourself be generous to others and forgive others. Children learn more by what they see. They may not remember everything you teach them, but they will always remember what they see you do. Use positive words on your children. Tell your children how smart they are, how beautiful and handsome they are. Let them know how intelligent they are and how precious and excellent they are. By saying all these to your children, you are building their self-esteem, you are helping them to discover who they are and to believe in themselves. It is not right to constantly bully your children, silence them, make your home a nightmare for them, making your children live in constant fear, telling your children things like, you are up to no good, you are a fool, I hate you, you are dumb, you are useless, or telling them, I don't know where you come from, I'm not sure I give back to you. Such words wounds and hurts your children and should not be used on them. As you raise your children, Raise them in such a way that they can trust in you and confide in you, even when they make mistakes. Raise your children to be open to you, to share things with you, their experiences and their pain. Let your kids know that their opinion and their voice matter in the family. Children should have a voice in the family. After all, they are part of the family. Ask your child every once in a while, what do you think? What is your opinion on this? If you come hard on your children and punish them severely and viciously when they tell you the truth, what happens over time is that they will start hiding things from you and they will grow up to be dishonest. They will become reserved because they are now afraid of what your reactions would be. No parents wants their children to be hiding things from them. Let them know it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to stumble and fall. It is okay to be human. It is okay to err. Stop raising your kids as perfect human beings and angels on earth. Help them to embrace their humanity. Stop expecting way too much from them. 
There is no perfect child, no perfect children, no perfect marriage, no perfect family. It is unrealistic to expect your children to be 100% perfect. You are not helping those children. It is simply not fair to them. Bless your children. Speak words of blessings over your children. Pray for your children. Tell your kids, may it be well with all of you. May God bless you. May you succeed in life. May you prosper. May you live long. May the hand of God be upon you. May you flourish. May your future be bright. The blessings of parents on their children avails much. Just call your children, gather them together, stretch out your hands over them, start releasing blessings, prayers, positive affirmations and declarations upon them. Pray for their safety, pray that they may not fall into the hands of wrong people. Every possible good things, pray for that upon your children. How lucky are those children with praying fathers and mothers, they will certainly go far. Be there for your children, be available to them. Always listen to them, their worries, their fears and concerns, even their struggles and challenges. It is not enough to kiss your children hundred times a day and tell them how you love them. Let them know by your actions, and the way you treat and relate to them, how truly and sincerely you love them. It is not enough to kiss your children hundred times a day and tell them how you love them. Let them know by your actions and the way you treat and relate to them, how you truly and sincerely love them. When your children are growing up, if you carefully and critically watch them, you will see them manifesting and exhibiting some gifts and talents. Encourage them in that direction. Lead them to explore their potentials in order to become who God created them to be. If they are good at singing, encourage them in that direction. Do not force them into who you want them to be. Rather, to be who God created them to be. Let your children know the consequences of their actions. This is the best way to deter them from doing bad things and making bad decisions. You can punish them all you want, but if you don't teach them the dangers involved or the reasons why they should not do those things, you are wasting your time. When you have issues with your wife or your husband or even at work, do not take it out on your children. It is not fair to them. How a child is raised in the family will determine how they will see the world, their outlook on life and perspective on things. Let parents bear this in mind. Let parents lay a good foundation for their kids. This is more than ever important, especially in this age of social media, where children at a very young age could have access to the internet. You may be raising a child, and that child is at the same time getting indoctrinated online. Parenting could be quite challenging in an internet age that we live in at this time. I call for a solid moral foundation in the family for our children. Lay a good foundation for your children in respect for other people. Let your children learn how to respect people. Teach them unity and peace. Teach them love and forgiveness. Teach them kindness and mercy. Teach them to have respect for the sanctity of human life. Teach them integrity and honesty. Teach them to be welcoming. Teach them to accept people that don't look like them. Stop teaching your children to hate. Stop teaching your children division. Stop teaching your children how to be rude and nasty. 
Stop using bad words before your children. Form them to have a good heart. Form your children to feel the pain of others. Form your children to have a compassionate heart. Form their conscience to be moved and touched by the unfortunate situation and circumstances of other people. The current evils of our society could be traced back to the family and to parents who failed in their responsibility to lay a good moral foundation for their children. A well-raised child or well-raised children are a blessing and an asset to every society. All hands should be on deck. Parents, teachers, churches, coaches and instructors in helping to shape and form our children in the highest moral standard. Train your kids to be a good ambassador and a representative of your family and country wherever they may eventually end up. Raise your kids in such a way that you will be proud of who they eventually turn out to be. Thank you for listening. Please take some time and visit my website at www.venathel.com. You can also visit my daily blog at www.venathel.com slash blog.